Holding a pair of boots that is broken in just perfectly to fit you is a joy that I think everybody should get to experience. Today we're going to talk about the fabled cowboy boot break-in process and how it will change the fit and look of your boots. That's a mouthful. <laughs> So the first step is getting a pair of boots that fit you well, and we've got a video for that you should check out. The short version is that you want boots that are snug but not too tight, uh, you want room for your toes, a little bit of heel slip, and you want them to feel nice and firm over the instep. That's all well and good, but how is it going to change over time once you start wearing them? So let's take a look. This is a brand new pair of Chiso's boots, and one of the things we're proud of is that our break-in process is shorter than most boots and they are comfortable right out of the bat. You can wear them on day one, but they're gonna still change over time as you wear them and how you wear them. First thing I wanna point out is how stiff a new cowboy boot is. That's because you've got a veg tanned leather outsole as well as a insole on the inside. Uh, you've got a veg tan leather heel counter if they've, they're made right. And then just in general, the boot is still gonna be stiff uh, with uh, the end of the, the production process. As you wear this boot, it's going to shift and change where you put pressure on it. So if you have a, a high instep, for, for instance, and you're putting pressure right here on the top of the vamp, that's where it's going to stretch. And this area actually has the most leather uh, to adjust as you wear it. Let me just show you on one that's a little broken in. So this boot is about a year old. I've actually done some a little bit of roofing in it. You can see immediately, oh, look how easy that, that sole bends. Uh, you can see here that there's just so much give and play in the vamp. This is a fantastically comfortable boot. Uh, so as good as they are when they're new, they're gonna get even better over time. And that's what we mean when we talk about how a boot is going to break in. That leather, uh, literally you have fibers of the leather and as you move them over time, they begin to loosen and have a little more give and play and it. it softens the leather up. Now, another thing to mention here is that what you do in the boots is going to affect how they break in. So if you're wearing them to the office, say, every once in a while, you're not putting very much pressure on them, it's gonna take longer and then the total amount that they're gonna stretch is gonna be fairly minimal. If you're ranching in them or you're riding in them or you're doing some other sort of work, you're gonna put a lot of stress on the leather and it's gonna break in very quickly and it's also gonna stretch even further. That ability to break in specific to you and how you use the boot is one of the things that makes cowboy boots fantastic. Over time, you get a boot which is custom fitted to you. And even the uh, Chiso's Comfort insole will mold to your toes and the leather insole beneath that will also mold. And so over time, even your feet will sit and they just feel like they're, they're at home in the cowboy boot which will make it more comfortable. So in addition to how you wear them, how you maintain the boots, how you store them or condition them is also gonna play a part in how they break in. You should rotate your cowboy boots. Don't wear them every single day. Uh, at the end of the day, take out those insoles if you've got them. Let them breathe is what you want. Uh, every three months or so, you wanna condition them and make sure they're nice and clean. And you also wanna put uh, perhaps a cedar boot tree into the boots at night. That'll keep the vamp nice and taut and also pull that moisture out. You can also put uh, items in the shafts to keep them upright. So as the boot breaks in, that leather is going to get a little softer. And so that nice stiff upright look of the boot is going to start to get just a little bit softer and over time even potentially floppy. But you can mitigate that by taking care of them properly. And we've got a whole video to cover those details as well. Let's look at how the Chiso's leathers will change over time from a visual perspective. So here we have a brand new Chiso's boot. It's beautiful, isn't it? You can see here, as we talked about earlier, the leather is nice and stiff. It's got a good shine to it. There are plenty of oils embedded in it through the tanning process. And uh, I think it looks pretty good. Here is a another brown Chiso's that is uh, about two months old. And so you can see here, oh, look at that. It's already, that sole is loosened up. You're seeing some of that break-in start to happen. Uh, it is beginning to form to the, to the wearer. From the visual perspective, uh, it's starting to get some character. Now, I think 
that's how you should wear your boots. You should let them pick up the scuffs and the scrapes. A lived in boot to me is what looks good. You don't want to keep it pristine forever, um, but you do want to make sure that it stays in good condition. So this is approaching the time when I would condition them for the first time. And now this is a year and a half old Chisos. Uh, it is very well broken in. Uh, I have not cleaned this one up recently and I haven't even conditioned it recently as so it's got some nice scuffs on it. Now you can remove a lot of these scuffs and these lighter marks. You can get them to blend in. We have a Chisos leather ball, which is fantastic for that. So you can restore a lot of that original luster to your boots if you want to. So it doesn't have to stay this way, but I did want to show you what it's going to look like without a lot of care or maintenance. Now let's look at the Chisos Magic Black Leather. So there we are, straight from the workshop, brand new. Uh, it has that beautiful speckle to it. And another thing I wanna point out on these is the edge of the welt and the sole has that nice dark black uh, stain on it. When you start to wear your boots, you're gonna get chips and scuffs on that welt as well. And it's gonna reveal the lighter color of the natural leather underneath it. And so here, this boot right here is actually three years old. Uh, it's been resold uh, and it, you know, it needs, again, it needs to be polished, but I've conditioned these, probably conditioned these about a month ago and I've been wearing them a lot. I wanna point out here is I also added more stain to the edge. Uh, it's literally called edge dressing and that goes a long way and making sure that they look new and they look nice. So with my black cowboy boots, I tend to keep them conditioned a little bit better and because they're, they're a little, little fancier. Uh, but again, this is what they're gonna look like as they, uh, without, you know, I haven't, I have not polished these, I haven't even conditioned them in a couple of months. And here we have that fabled Chisos Rough Out. So on my left is a brand new pair of Rough Out. And again, Rough Out is uh, a full, grain piece of leather turned inside out so the rough side is out it's not suede it's a lot tougher than suede it's actually the strongest leather we make it takes on a lot of character as you wear it as you can see here these are about a year old uh, they've had a lot of rough work uh, these are actually dimitri's on our team who does all of our camera work howdy dimitri and he wears these out in the field he's worn these in the Chisos Mountains, he's worn them shooting, and you can tell that he gets down and bends a lot in his boots, and so they're very soft. Um, but there's a lot of character now in that rough out, even taking on some of the indigo from his jeans. Now, I wanna point out that these boots have not had any uh, cleaning or, or restaining or dyeing or anything like that done to them uh with rough out is a very particular leather and a lot of the oils from your feet as you wear them condition them from the inside out so if you wanted to keep them a little bit more pristine uh first of all you could not wear them out in rodeo corrals uh that would help but you can buy a suede cleaning kit even though it's rough out suede or nubuck or rough out they're all treated the same way if you want to keep them clean and then you can actually dye them over time you can you can re-dye them or change the color but this is what they're going to look like with a lot of hard wearing and uh, no attention or, or, or to to trying to keep them cleaned up and, and looking for statement personally i think this boot looks a hell of a lot better than than that one we get a lot of reviews at jesus that their boots feel phenomenal right out of the box and we work hard to try and make that the case but if it's not the case for you, it doesn't necessarily mean that the boots are the wrong size. Everybody's feet are different and you may have a high instep and you may even have a high instep just on one of your feet. And so you wanna make sure that when you get the boots, you take into consideration the stiffness they have when they're new and how they're going to break in over time. Now I know there's a little bit of an art, not a science, so if you have any questions about this, feel free to give us a call here at the shop, send us an email, or we have a Facebook community with a lot of other Chisos owners, and you can ask them directly how the boots fit for them and how it changed over time. Whether you're a newcomer to boots or this is your 15th pair, just know that it's an investment and it's gonna take a little time, but it's gonna be worth it. And if you need any help along the way, just give us a call here at Chisos.